Kaze Mas and welcome to Naha in Okinawa, one of Japan's beautiful islands. So we're here today, we're having a short day and this is what the terminal looks like when you come out the ship. Um, it's a bit of a maze getting around it but there's Wi-Fi everywhere, there's lots of places to stop, it's very useful. Helpful locals giving you maps and information. Uh, you can sit down, you can even take pictures with fun things. Um, we're going to go explore the city. So as you start to head into town, uh, this is just a few minutes walk from the cruise terminal, you'll be greeted by these guys. These are the Shisa. Uh, there's one on each side, they always come in pairs. And uh, these are the special sort of dragon lion uh, warrior guardians of Okinawa. Uh, they've been around for centuries and they protect the city, they protect the island, they protect the people. And you'll find them all over the city. They're on top of houses, at doorways, and businesses. Um, you can buy them in markets and you always buy them in tubes and they will protect the house too. Now just about 15 minutes walk from where the ship is docked, you can find these gardens. This is called Fukusuin Gardens. They're absolutely beautiful. We went to visit last time. It's 200 yen to get in. Certainly it's a holiday today so we can't go and visit today but they're beautiful. A Japanese delicacy which started off in Paris, became uh, popular in Japan in the 70s, is the Mont Blanc dessert. Uh, we had it in Tokyo, it is amazing. And also we discovered that they have it here in the Edelweiss Bakery in Naha. So of course we have to go back and have one more. This is a Mont Blanc, lots of other delicious options. They also have Wi-Fi and very nice coffee. So when you're walking from the ship, it's a straight shot, about 30 minutes walk all the way up here and then turn left here. This is Kokosaidori. This is the main shopping street where you can go shopping. There's restaurants, there's cafes, there's great souvenirs, and there's markets. There's a souvenir market and the food market. So this is where it is. And some of the shops are very fun and colorful, like this. <laughs> you can even buy Shisa underwear. Also, we're not here at the right time of year, but whale sharks do hang out in Okinawa off the coast. Um, so there are, if you're here at the right time of year, you can go out and swim with them, you can go snorkel with them, visit them. So there's lots of souvenirs with whale shark related items as well. So you can buy shisa for your house almost everywhere. You can buy them from the little tiny ones um, up to big massive ones that guard your door. Uh, so there's loads of them, all sorts of shisa. Uh, souvenirs to take home, tiles, magnets, ornaments, t-shirts, bags, everything. An interesting place to come and visit is the Makishi Public Market. Um, it's just a couple of minutes walk off of Kokosai Dori, the main street. Uh, just follow the map if you get one from the tourist office. Um, and then you just come down here. This is the main public market. It's a great place for food and uh, trying local flavor. Okay. Oh, wow. oh. So something to look out for on the Okinawan Islands is this. This is shochu with the snake in it. This is the habu, this is the poisonous snake that lives um, in the forest on the islands here. And what they do to create the liquor, the first already made, and then the snakes are frozen and then brought out of the freezer and popped inside the shochu. And as they wake up, they basically realize they're in a jar full of liquid. And they start taking it in and they drown, looking very surprised like this and their venom gets released into it and it said that if you drink uh, this alcohol just a little by little then you, it will help you become immune to the poison of the snake bite. So when you're in the market if you would like to try something to eat come upstairs there's uh, stairs at um, both ends and in the middle that brings you up here there's loads of local restaurants uh, the main dish up here is soba different noodle dishes uh, there's uh, noodles but there's also different vegetable dishes different meat dishes everything is Okinawan typical cuisine so if you want to try something local come up here and it smells delicious it's a good place to eat now as we're walking around uh, we're heading down towards the Suboya pottery area uh, this area is Little Asia of Okinawa. Uh, this is um, a cool area we came last time. It's not quite open up yet because it's still early. There's loads of shops, loads of products from uh, Japan, different Asian countries, and it's a great place to come for food as well. Lots of nice little restaurants with Okinawan cuisine as well as international stuff. This is the other main market. You can get into it from Kokosai Dori Street and it winds all the way down to near the Suboya Pottery District. Um, it's great for shopping. And just between Little Asia and where the Suburia pottery area is, there is a beautiful, a huge shisa to meet you. This is Suboya pottery area. So when you come in here, the whole street, there's a massive street. This is all filled with beautiful shops uh, run by local artisans. Um, some of them famous in the area throughout Japan and throughout the world. 
So all the way down here, there's loads and loads of little pottery shops. Everything is handmade, hand painted. You can see the, the artists at work in a lot of places actually making the pots or painting them. Uh, really, really beautiful craftsmanship. Uh, we got some lovely cups last time. I uh, would definitely recommend it. If you like beautiful things for your house, then come here and get yourself some original Okinawan pottery. Um, right at the start of the street is this shop here. This is where um, we bought some cups before. Um, one of the main designs they have here is the Okinawa fish design. Um, and so this place has lots of them. It's very beautiful and it's slightly less expensive than the other ones as well. So animal cafes are very popular all over in Japan and in Okinawa we found one a bit exciting. This one has an owl, which we've seen before, um, hedgehogs, which we've seen before, but apparently there's also otters and capybaras. How cool! A thousand yen gets you in, about ten bucks, and you can go and meet and hug these animals.